Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I decided to start today's video off with one of my sweet eight week old pups. This is Oat, an espresso's baby girl. And she will be staying back here at the hamstery. And so she actually looks just like her father. Espresso has the same normal color as her. And so I'm so excited to have her be a part of the family. We're still picking a name for her. I feel like Java would be really cute. Like I love coffee themed names. If you guys have any name ideas, I would love to hear them in the comments. However, with Without further ado, let's get into the video. I don't know if you could tell, but I have this adorable sweater on. It says, easily distracted by hamsters, and it's embroidered. And like, guys, it is the plushiest thing in the whole world, and I'm literally obsessed with it. And I may or may not have designed it myself. If you want all the details on when this sweater is gonna launch, you can actually just follow us on Instagram, and we like always update our stuff on our stories for when we're gonna launch. But I'm so excited. I mean, this is not like the cutest thing you've ever seen, and it's not, this is the sample so you can't see it yet but we're gonna have like a little hamster that's like on the sleeve and I'm just like so excited because it's funny because it's like you'll see the hamster and it'll be like easily distracted by hamsters and it'll be like right there <laughs> anyways so the hamster in me box includes 10 items plus a bonus item there's five different categories so two things for the human like we said two treats two enrichments, two cage accessories, or we call it cage decorations, and then two mini photo props. This is what our fall box looks like. I'm literally obsessed with it. I can't help falling in love with you. And I just thought it'd be so cute because falling, you get it, because it's fall. And then you see right on the edge of the box, thank you for supporting our ethical hamstery. You can see I put on the bottom of the box, it says 100% of the proceeds or the profits fund our ethical hamstery. I just love also the little hamster in the box. Box, and you can see our little logo here, which is our rainbow, which is right here on the wall as well. I painted it right on the hamstery wall. But anyway, so if we open up the hamster and me box, you can see it says hamster and me box. On the side, it also has like our Instagram. And so then if I open it up, let's first unbox the items for the human. This is my like favorite item in the box. Look, does this look familiar? It's literally a like stoneware mug with our rainbow logo on it. And I am so obsessed because not only is it like, just like so like neutral, it's like the prettiest color. It goes with like anyone's like style. And it's literally like my favorite seeing it. and. The whole goal of why we put this in the box was we just wanted to create this as a reminder that whenever you're drinking your tea or your coffee, how thankful we are and how much of an impact you're making. Plus, it's literally the cutest thing in the whole world. Okay, so then the second thing that we have in the box that's for the human, it's this adorable little hamster sponge set. There's two of them. I've been watching like unboxing with different people unboxing this box. And every time they look at it and they like, they smell it to see if it's an air freshener. <laughs> and on the back, I have a sticker and it just says for you. And I realized I think I should have told people it's a sponge because we have a pamphlet in every box. Like you can look at the pamphlet and it explains all the different products. Here's the pamphlet. And if you like open it and stuff, it has every, oh my goodness. And like it goes in depth about how to use it and all the different things. But um, yes, this is not an air freshener, but it's a hamster sponge and it looks so tiny. But when you put it in water, it literally like poofs up. It's so, so cool. So like I, the way I put it in the brochure was the touch of hamster you didn't know your kitchen needed until now okay next let's go over the treat actually let's go over the next most amazing thing I feel like the hit everyone just is so excited about is this beautiful hamster hide is that not the most beautiful thing you have ever seen it's beautiful it's wooden there is no gapping in any of the ridges it has like a little pretend window in the back this opening is I believe if I'm remembering correctly is three inches which is the recommended for a Syrian I believe the minute for a Syrian is 2.8 inches and so we always try to make sure all of our products fit Syrians first because dwarfs can obviously fit anything that fits a Syrian and so it's a super roomy hide but it also works as like a bridge or like a ladder like like if you're trying to move between two platforms like your hamster can climb on this and because it has little ridges there it can easily use their paws to climb but there's no gaps which is so so nice so okay so this next one is this adorable seagrass hide I mean tunnel so this tunnel is really cool because it can be entered in from this side 
or this side, or you could put it facing downward so then your hamster could start a burrow from the bottom of their tunnel. A lot of my hamsters, they bite holes into their hay hides and tunnels to like start their burrows. Isn't that so cute? So anyways, I just love this that has so many options or like if you lay it this way, your hamster could duck in here and then leave this way. There's just so many openings and fun little things for them while they're foraging. Plus this is a new material. A lot of people, their hay that they have in their enclosure is like Timothy grass hay or orchard grass. This is seagrass. Let's talk enrichment. Okay, so this is called a lotus pod. A lotus pod in the brochure. <laughs> I have a typo and it says clotus pod. It's a lotus pod and that was just totally my mistake and I always try to look over the brochure and yet still, there's still a typo. Anyways, I had already printed all of them so oh well. <laughs> but what this is, is it's pretty much a flower that has dried and the seeds have fallen out, leaving like these little openings. And so what you can do is just sprinkle your seed mix into the lotus pod, or you could do tr a treat mix as well. And then your hamster will have to forage na in a natural item to find their seed mix. And what's really cool about it is it's textured, um, in a way that your hamster can actually bite and like nibble through it and it's safe for them to do that and so i just think it's such a fun little boredom breaker enrichment the next enrichment and something we try to put in most of our boxes is some sort of spray because i find sprays can be really difficult to keep like stocked because you know hamsters use them and they eat them and so these are red sorghum sprays i'm going to take them out of the package this subscription box comes with two humongous stocks of of sorghum sprays this literally could last your hamster 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 a good month or one night depending on how insane your hamster is with attacking sorghum sprays different hamsters go through different sprays at different speeds and stuff like that i'm interrupting today's video with a freebie that i wanted to let you guys know i have decided if you want to get the subscription box you can use code flax sprays and you can get this huge bundle of flax seed sprays in your subscription box for absolutely for free when you check out just make sure you use the code flax sprays i'll have the code in a copy and paste format in the description box if you just scroll down and click the more or whatever excuse me i'm talking i just thought that would be just a fun little like goodie to like thank you for trying our hamster me subscription box it is a subscription so it will renew every three months however you're welcome to cancel at any time you guys want to see something adorable look at these little cute pups you know why they were squeaking <laughs> they're fighting over who was getting to drink the water from the water spout isn't that so funny oh my goodness please do not jump you are up very very high right now look how cute you guys are. Okay, let's put you back. Back into the video. Let's keep unboxing things. Um, what should we do next? Let's do treats. This is one of my favorite treats I think we've ever put in the box. So far, you guys have told me that this box is your favorite box that we've done so far. This is called the Chicken and Tofu Freeze-Dried Seed Mix. If I can show you how beautiful this coloring is, if it will load. It's so fall colored. It has like the reds and the oranges and the yellows. It has the freeze dried chicken and tofu. And so what this is, is it's a really nice high protein packed snack, but it's in a format that it won't mold or get gross. And so, because it's a freeze dried chicken and tofu. And so hamsters love freeze dried chicken and tofu. If you've never tried it, you should get this box so you can try it. The other treat that we have in this box is called the puzzle treat in a bottle, flax seeds on the top, amaranth seeds in the middle, and chia seeds on the bottom. And what's really cool about this little treat bottle is it has a cork lid, and so you can actually just put this in your hamster's enclosure as is, and they'll be able to smell the really yummy seeds in here, and they'll have to chew through the cork to get to, to the seeds. And then they'll have to dig and push and kick at this little bottle in order to get the seeds out of it. And so what's really cool is the glass is very hard. It is not a flimsy, thin glass. So your hamster should not be able to crack this or break this. Obviously don't put it somewhere high in the cage that they could like kick it off and it break on something. But you can hear it's like it's pretty tough. So this is one of my favorite things. And again, you could reuse this, especially if you got different pieces of cork or you could put stuff in there in the future and not put a cork lid. Oh my word, everyone is awake. Am I just waking you guys up because I'm talking? Pebbles over here right now. You guys want to see a cute little pebble? 
<laughs> no, Babel is so big in comparison to those little babies. I want it to focus on her. Let me see if I can get Pebble has the literal biggest eyeballs. You have the biggest eyeballs ever. Yes, you do. Look at you. You're cleaning yourself away from the audience. You have to show them your cuteness. Anyways, Pebble is such a sweet girl. She's actually about to go to her retirement home, so we're gonna miss you so much, sweet girl. Okay, this video is getting long. I need to stay focused. Here we go. So now I believe the last two categories we have is our, oh yes, oh yay. The last category we have is our mini photo props. Okay, so the first photo prop we have in here is the Hamnature dried flower mix. What's really cool about our photo props is we try to make them like multifunctional. So they're not just something you use one time and then you never use it again. So for example, this is a dried flower mix. So after you take photos with it, you can use it as an enrichment. You can use it as forage, like treats all the different things. This has over 12 different ingredients and we list them in the brochure. And so it's something that it's very possible your hamsters never experienced um, or tasted or smelled these dried herbs or flowers before. And so I love this seed mix. This is, Hamniture is a small business that she's located in Singapore, which is so cool. And so we love working with her. And so she put this little blend together for us. And so I love, when I take photos, I'll pop some pictures on the screen. I love to sprinkle um, any sort of flower mix around some sort of hide. And I feel like that's some of the best ways to get like the cutest pictures of hamsters and this just really fills the space. The second to last item is this tiny little photo prop that is a little wooden acorn. Look how cute this is. What's so cool about this is if you don't know, you can actually dip raw wood like this into like berry juice. So if you like squish up some blueberries or some sort of fruit, you can dip this into the fruit and allow the wood to soak up the fruit flavor and what's cool about that is it allows your hamster to chew on something which is great for their teeth but also it allows them to get the flavor of the fruit without all of the sugar of the fruit and then the last thing that i actually haven't like shared anywhere yet like not even in the spoilers they come in all different sizes based on the box you get and it's like a little mini tiny pumpkin that you can use when taking photos with your hamster. And I just thought it was so, 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 so cute. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've used the pumpkin yet. So I need to do that and do set up a little pumpkin patch. Oh, that'd be so cute. And so I chose white just because I love the color white. I just think, oh, wait, so pretty. I know pumpkins are orange, but still. <laughs> In every box, we love to put a sticker now. That's been one of my new favorite obsessions. And so this sticker is like a little hamster, like, what did you say to me huh <laughs> i just think it's so cute and so it'd be so fun collect all the stickers collect them all <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you so enjoyed this unboxing and if you want to get a box remember just use code flax sprays and you can get an entire box plus an entire bundle look at all of that flax spray this could literally last you forever uh, but make sure please do not give this to one hamster in one sitting make sure you just take a couple because flax like flax seed pods each pod has about like five to seven flax seeds inside of it on average. And so if you give a whole bunch of these, flax seeds are a very fatty seed. That's why hamsters love them. <laughs> and so you wanna do it in moderation, probably like once a week restocking that or bi-weekly. If you wanna learn more about winter white hamsters, I will see you over there. Bye.